What is up guys? My name is Eric, also known as Aviator, and today I'm here to bring you a very special Team Deathmatch gameplay from Yotslayer. Now if you don't know who I am or what I do on my channel, I generally bring people adventures like skydiving, flying, kiteboarding, all kinds of fun shenanigans, but I also do live shoutcasting like this for MLG teams and competitive events like Call of Community. Now today, this gameplay is quite different because it's actually something Yotslayer asked me to cast because he thinks it's Beast gameplay. Now I've never watched this, I have no idea what happens, but as we'll see right here, Yot is doing all that he can right now to keep things moving forward across the map, pulling out that Slide of Hand Pro first perk on his specialist kit. Now, we'll watch exactly what happens next as he moves his way around the map, picking up some very nice kills into the Assassin, rocking this MP7 with Silencer. I'm not sure if it was attachments or not. That was my mistake. I should have looked, but we'll watch as he works his way around down here. Bootleg is such an interesting map to navigate with so many different lines of sight. And as you'll see right here, he is doing some very smart work right there with the hip fire and then switching over to his MP9, I believe it is, secondary, getting that assist and then back across now for the blind eye. Hip fire into ADS, very quick kill, lining up back now, back now through the shops. He's getting some very nice shots here on players. Already has a specialist bonus with 2,000 points on the board. This guy is absolutely racking up kills. Now, many people know Brian or Yote Slayer as a uh, zombies player, but I gotta say, you know, I've played quite a bit of zombies with the guy, and I've also played quite a bit of multiplayer, and while he absolutely dominates me at both I have to give the guy credit because he's not just a good uh, zombies player. He's actually an incredibly strong multiplayer. Uh, player? Multiplayer player? Whatever you want to call it. Anyway, as we see here, guys, he's dropping in. He's picking up those kills left and right. That specialist bonus helps so much with the marksman. As you'll see right there, he's seen another player at long range. We'll see if he takes some pot shots here. Long range. Pop firing, pop firing, pop firing. Getting that burst out there very nicely. Doing all he can to maintain this lead. Picking up players left and right, as we can already see. It's at 4,000 points now. Yote already to run a 15 or 16 kill streak. Might be a little bit higher than that. There's Cynical Agony going down right in front of him. Yote knows there's players moving across toward the B-Dom side of things. Probably bottom stairs as he he pushes bottom stairs right now. Backside sees a player with that marksman bonus once again. Picks him up as he's sitting in the corner. Luckily picking up another assist there on a player he had a few shots into earlier. Now moving his way across topside patio. Doing all he can to get into the top of stairs here where he sees players moving up. Including an assault drone which can be absolutely devastating in this situation. Where Yote is already moving so close to his uh, Moab. Moab streak. Very, very nice here. And as we'll see now Yote working his way once again across toward Adom side. He is able to pick up that player once again. Now picking up a long range player who's in final stand goes down on final stand no dead man's hand that could be devastating once again but Yote sees a player moving across the bottom side of this patio picks him up sees two players moving into the stairs once again across the top side of patio we'll see as Yote is playing very defensively but also in a very kind of forceful manner. I gotta give the guy credit. He's playing a lot more aggressively than I would in this situation. So close to a Moab now with only 23 kills left in this game. He has got to do all he can now to find the enemy players and take them out. Yote absolutely dominating, keeping that shot very well on target and playing in a way that only a zombie killer can do. There's a lot of ADS, making sure he moves around corners, already keeping the sights right there raised, always aiming above the waist. Perfect. Picks up that Moab with a two-piece right there. Lining back up now. 8,900 points with six seconds left in it. He's going to get a quick, nice little hip fire spray. Sees more players coming back. Another hip fire spray. And can he get another one? It does look like he's going to get one more there. Picking up the final stand guy for the win here with his MP9. No, it's going down with the Moab. Very nice, guys. Final kill cam Moab. Gotta love this. And guys, I gotta say, once again, this was the very first time I've ever seen this gameplay, so it is a little bit tough to keep up, but mad props to Brian or Yotzler for doing as much work as he did in this game. Going 30 and 0, ending the game with a Moab in Ground War TDM is very impressive. Once again, my name is Eric or Aviator. If you enjoyed this, please leave a comment below, and if you don't mind, come on over to my channel and let me know. Also, if you hated it, don't hesitate to go over and leave a comment on my channel as well. I'm always happy to hear from you guys. Hope you all have a great day. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.